Kim colleagues at the Minister of Health's uh, brief on the preparedness of the health system. Mr. Eshko, the, the floor is yours. Good afternoon. Stay healthy. Keep calm. Everything's going to be fine. With regard to the Ministry of Health and the health institutions, they are working in the regular mode, providing uh, health assist, uh, uh, care services to all who need them. The health care system is ready for any emergencies, and we've shown that in the previous two years, uh, when we were, uh, when we have been fighting coronavirus, uh, these two years uh, showed how we can reconfigure our health care facilities uh, to provide to the needs arising uh, here and now. The ministry has already identified the list of uh, institutions that would respond to various threats, biological and others. We know which institutions uh, will provide uh, services, uh, surgical, therapeutic, etc. We have an emergency health care system with a large number of uh, teams, plus we have uh, a reserve of the teams that uh, will report to work in order to timely well, evacuate uh, people in need of medical uh, help to where uh, this uh, will be provided to them. We have also uh, have a medical uh, where we use uh, SEC and uh, uh, National Guard uh, choppers. We have a hub and healthcare institutions. In the past two years, uh, their reception areas have been upgraded. New diagnostic equipment uh, uh, has been put in place, as well as to others. In every health institution oh, and uh, dispatcher rooms, we have uninterruptible power supplies so that uh, people will get uh, help they need no matter what. Plus, uh, we have a uh, stock of uh, medical uh, goods uh, uh, to suit every category, every uh, emergency. These uh, stocks of are one month and three months uh, long. Plus, uh, we have now uh, provided yet another package uh, that will be uh, used to maintain our pool of professionals in the healthcare system, and there will be additional funding available to restock um, the supplies uh, using the medical guarantees budget. Well, the list of institutions providing uh, health care uh, assistance includes uh, the ones that are maintained by uh, local authorities and the ones uh, that uh, the Ministry of Health maintains centrally, plus the Academy of Sciences institutions. All of them are ready to provide assistance, and in emergency, we will. Uh, put them uh, in operation uh, so our system is ready to deal with their emergencies. We are working with the Red Cross, with the Frontier Sans, um, Médecins Sans Frontières and other organizations who uh, stand by us uh, ready to help I should also mention volunteer organizations who uh, help uh, both healthcare institutions and those who need medical assistance. We have carried out audits of uh, um, 
all the institutions uh, and we are therefore confident everything gonna be uh, fine however no one can be ready for humanitarian uh, catastrophes it's best to prevent those so as a doctor as a minister of uh, health I am the last person who'd be looking forward to any conflicts that might cause damage to health, uh, let alone life. Uh, so where diplomacy can work, let it work. Thank you, and I'm ready to take your questions. Do not forget to introduce yourself. Olya uh, Yakovenka, Rada Channel, Sir. Uh, could you tell us uh, whether the departmental hospitals uh, gonna be uh, put into enhanced uh, readiness mode? Well, the hospitals work 24 by 7 at any rate as the regular uh, hospitals and emergency services uh, if the low case load increases additional teams will be deployed both in regular institutions uh, on duty uh, medical professionals are a listed personnel so if there is mobilization they will be Channel 5, Valeria Pavlenka, uh, uh, blood banks, may I ask you a question with regard to that? If there is a possible uh, escalation of the Russian aggression, will those uh, banks suffice? And another important question regarding the fakes uh, we heard about today, about some orders of the Ministry of Health. Well, uh, blood banks and then medical supplies uh, that's enough uh, we have uh, reserves uh, in place so I can say that everything's uh, is okay however blood uh, donation isn't as uh, developed as in EU we are uh, very much average uh, in terms of uh, blood donation, so promote that. I uh, donate blood twice or thrice a year myself, so blood donation is, well, our social contribution to the development of our country, so I call upon everyone to become blood donors. It's safe, it doesn't pain, and it's life-saving. Regarding the fakes, well, we understand that uh, we are in a hybrid war with our adversaries, so I would uh, uh, encourage you to use official sources, including the official site of the Ministry of Health. We uh, debunked uh, the fake right away, but we understand that the number of fakes uh, designed to sow the seeds of panic amongst Ukrainians uh, will only increase, so call on us and we will provide you with true information to stop the dissemination of lies. Uh, thank you. Planned uh, hospitalizations, will they uh, reduce if emergen state of emergency is uh, imposed? Uh, not uh, yet. We have enough uh, beds to provide uh, medical assistance. So all planned hospitalizations were well reduced uh, in relation to the uh, COVID uh, red areas. Uh, there were five Interfax Ukraine. Are you going to update uh, the response package and so far as uh, it uh, was uh, used to respond to? Well, uh, the package was designed to respond to epidemics and other emergencies, so it wasn't uh, exclusively designed uh, to be used for epidemics, uh, 2.5 
uh, billion in addition to the 16.5 billion package uh, intended to uh, deal with COVID, uh, with the coronavirus infection. So one hospital per 200,000 population, uh, the hospitals uh, identified by the joint order of the Ministry of Defense and Ministry of Health. So uh, the hospitals that are on that list are covered by the additional package. In other words, uh, these hospitals are to um, military trauma. No, the, the, the hospitals will provide uh, medical assistance to all those who might need it in case of emergencies uh, or other man-made uh, situations. Uh, in case of intrusion, what's going to happen to the um, planned uh, surgeries and blood bank? How much should it grow? Well, there are some uh, confidential data, and I'm sorry I won't uh, divulge on the uh, size of uh, blood banks, of the scope of blood banks. As far as the uh, firing wounds are concerned, we have updated uh, our plans uh, and training aids, and I have uh, just mentioned that uh, given the amount of beds we had, our system is ready to provide uh, assistance uh, to all those who need it, in spite of the fact that 72,000 beds were to be uh, reconfigured to provide assistance to the uh, coronavirus uh, cases. Uh, so. Potentially, we will provide medical help to all those who need it. And yet another question regarding the institutions that are located in the vicinity of the contact line and temporarily occupied territories. Are you planning to evacuate the uh, clients, uh, mental health clients included? Well, there are different scenarios and plans that will be put in place as need arises, but currently all healthcare institutions work in the regular mode, including those located in Donetsk and Luhansk regions. And uh, there were emergencies that we dealt with uh, successfully. When uh, you remember the Stanitsa Luhansk hospital was severed from the uh, power supply, but our uh, standby generators uh, were um, put in operation and uh, helped us. So in other words, you are not planning for an evacuation of uh, patients. We're waiting for the directives, uh, presidential orders, as provided for by the legislation in place. Uh, thank you very much, colleagues. The briefing is over. Thank you. Thank you.